Hi everyone. Uh, so today I want to talk about your why for change or your whys for change. Um, you don't necessarily need multiple reasons why you want to change. It can just be one, but it has to be something that is intense enough or desired enough that you're focused enough on, that you've thought about enough, you've prayed for enough for help with to get you through your obstacles. So today I want to invite you to write your whys. Why do you want to change? Whatever your change is, why? Um, I talked about in another video that sometimes um, the way life is, you might not have the physical, mental, emotional capacity to make a change or it's diminished because of environmental things going on in your life. <clears throat> take all of that into consideration whatever you've got going on your whys will still motivate you for change to make progress towards your goals um, <clears throat> so write them down and I'm going to share my whys with you yours will probably be different um, so I have five of them the first reason why I wanted to change was for my own health. Purely selfish reasons. Um, I had nausea and heartburn every night. Of course I was overweight. Um, problems with IBS. And later on I developed blood clot in my leg. I've had varicose veins pretty much my whole life. First one I got was in sixth grade and yeah so things like that um i watched a documentary called forks over knives which had the medical research and the science behind it to um make me want to change to believe that it could that this way of eating could change my life and those issues and it also came with this is reason number two um, a greater understanding of my religious background and the stories from the Bible and the Word of Wisdom that I shared in my previous video to this one that I shared last week. Also, um, along with religious reasons, there's uh, what we're asked to do in Genesis, which is be a steward of the earth. So there's environmental reasons. Um, and of course, specifically a steward of the animals or someone who takes care of the animals, watches out for them. So I love animals. That's another reason why I eat the way I do. My own children's health. Um, I wanted their taste buds to be used to something healthy, health, well, healthy eating, um, and healthy eating habits. Um, my children were obese at one point in time, and I didn't want that to continue throughout their lives. So that's reason number three. And reason number four was to help solve world hunger. <clears throat> um, it takes seven to 10 pounds of grain to produce or make a cow or any other, um, what do you call those? Agricultural farm animal, grow one pound, seven to 10 pounds of grain for them to gain that one pound of meat. Most people will eat who are, who eat meat are eating meat about one pound a day. Um, <clears throat> so in my head, <clears throat> by not eating meat for even just one day, that frees up that extra grain in the world for someone else to eat a week to a week and a half. And um, or for seven to 10 people to eat one day. So in my view, even if I'm not perfect, I can make even just one day a week or three days a week, half the time, I can make a difference in the world towards world's, world hunger that way. And then the fifth reason why I do what I do is eat the way I do is money. Um, this way of eating is significantly cheaper and it's reduced my food budget by a third to half of what I used to spend on groceries weekly. Um, so I invite you to make your own whys. 
<laughs> You're silly, John. <laughs> John says world peace. Um, of course, that's the goal of everybody, right? Everybody's goal is world peace. <clears throat> so make your make your why strong enough to overcome whatever obstacles you will face. And I will talk about obstacles in another video. Um, some side comments from my last video. I realize uh, Jesus ate meat. The prophets of the Old Testament ate meat. The children of Israel asked for meat after they were sick of... Um, manna so i don't think anyone's a bad person necessarily for eating meat uh jesus was perfect and the prophets still re received revelation from god and spoke for god so can you still be a good person and eat meat yes i don't think <clears throat> people are bad for just that thing uh last video i mentioned the vitamin b12 so vitamin b12 if you're a person who chooses not to include meat or um, any byproducts whatsoever of animals, that's uh, dairy or eggs, <clears throat> um, those people need to take a vitamin B12 supplement, which is the only thing that you can get from meat that is not provided on a diet without those animals or animal byproducts. Um, a little history about vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is a byproduct of one specific type of bacteria that is found in dirt or feces. We used to get enough trace amounts of those things where we would, didn't have to eat <laughs> too many animals. Um, but we wash our hands a lot more. Our food supply is a lot more sanitized. And the same thing goes for animals. So our bodies don't produce vitamin B12. Animals' bodies don't produce vitamin B12. <clears throat> they have to get it through their feet as well. They used to get it when they ate, you know, straight grass or pe pecked at the ground for their feed. But now they're being fed highly sanitized, um, highly san sanitized food supply, and so. They also have to be supplemented with B12 in order for it to be in their bodies, in their meat, which we get it by eating the meat. I choose to just bypass, bypass the whole process and take the supplement myself. So, <laughs> um, so my two invitations are for you to write your why or your whys, why you want to change, whatever it is. And I already talked about in another video about um, sometimes those goals will be smaller goals. Um, but whatever you have the energy to put forth and work towards your full potential, go for it. Um, and then I have an, a Facebook group that if you're interested in joining specifically eating the way I do, I wouldn't call myself a vegan, even though that's more an understood term. Um, I prefer the term whole food plant-based because there's a lot of unhealthy vegans. Oreos and potatoes are, potato chips are vegan, but we all know that's junk foods. So <clears throat> whole foods plant-based is what I prefer to call myself. So if you want to join that Facebook group, let me know and I'll add you. So see you next week. <laughs>